All right, you guys, I know this cannot be true, okay? Now, we just did a couple of reactions to the Netherlands. Either way, either way this go, I know that's not true. I know a lot of people from the Netherlands. Shout out to Highly Combustible Reacts and his whole community. But, man, come on, man. This, this got to be capped. Hello travelers, today I'm going to tell you about a country that I didn't like. Officially, it is named the Netherlands, but my experience was specifically in the Holland region in the city of Amsterdam. The country of Holland is full of attractive people. Many people would like to move there to find love because the Dutch are very good looking people. People claim that there are jobs there and that it's a very special country. I found out about this country online. Mm -hmm. When I arrived in this country with my son, the very first day was snowy. I stayed at Schiphol Airport for the first night because we landed late and security personnel mistreated us and were racist towards us. Most people spoke Dutch, which is a very hard language to learn. How hard? How hard on a scale of 1 to 10? Let me know in the comments. Some people also spoke English as a secondary language. Okay. English is English is almost like every country's second language now. Some people also spoke English as a secondary language, but it was broken English. Therefore, it was very hard to communicate with them. I struggled as the airport was the first encounter I ever had with the Dutch. The next day, I went to my hotel, which by the way was very expensive. I did not find any cheap hotels to stay at. Wait a minute. Wait, in Amsterdam. wait a second. You in Amsterdam, bro. Like, I already got my critiques. You in the Amsterdam. Even, I ain't never been there, but I seen it on TV. Of course it's going to be expensive. You ain't going to find nothing cheap. You better stay up, up under a Waffle House or something. I spent too much money. After staying two months in Amsterdam, I suffered so much. I wanted to leave, and I ended up completely broke. It was freezing there. There was too much snow and many bicycles everywhere, because the Dutch culture involves riding a bike everywhere, since the country is little. The Netherlands being a car-free country, there are not many cars around. As I said earlier, hey, can't the catch Dutch a Uber. are very attractive people physically, but they are very cold, and they will not socialize with you. They will never talk to you out of the blue. Instead, they just show you a fake smile. The fact that they constantly said, hello, hello, annoyed me so much and I didn't like it at all. <laughs> That's how they communicate so you move out of their way. Because they are commuting through the city using bicycles. There are also rip. I think that would be a good time. <laughs> I'm sorry. So far, I don't really agree with anything she's talking about. But, you know, everybody's experience is different. So, you know, I, you know, the people in the Netherlands, they let me know. Railways for cable cars on the streets with the buses and cars and bikes. All of them using the same roads. I found it quite unorganized. It is a very small city, beautiful and old fashioned, but it is full of canals and rivers, which I didn't like. I already knew that. I suffered so much. I became depressed How? since I spent so much money. I never even found a job to sustain myself, and I've been ripped off by two Dutch employment agencies. Because they demand you meet so many requirements to work, and it's a very close Like country, what? Give us some you details. You can't work or have access to basic services as a foreigner. If you are an American, I guess the same principles applies to any non-European I wish you would go into some details about what that is, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is that? You are an American? I guess the same principles applies to any non-European foreigner. You have zero possibilities of working in the Netherlands. I lived in Amsterdam, and after doing so for a time, there is nothing left for us. Let's also not forget that the Dutch are stingy and greedy. Mm. In most that's cases, they will not give you a handout if you're in need. Mm, that's a 
pretty, pretty uptight general generalization, but let's go. Greedy. In most cases, they will not give you a handout if you're in need. Honestly, the, the, the Dutch people that I know are some of the nicest people. Some people point I don't know what part of the Netherlands you were in or Amsterdam you was in, but... Mm. Now, the greatness of the welfare that citizens of the European Union can benefit from, but that was not so great, because I've met many people from Europe who still had nothing while there, as they spent all their money in that country, and especially in the city of Amsterdam. They read on the internet that it is supposed to be the best country and that there are plenty of opportunities. But it's not true. Forget about going there if you don't have any money, because if you're unlucky and end up homeless, you can't even exist there. The police will arrest you and fine you if they see you sleeping on the streets. I met a girl from Germany and she had a tough life in the Netherlands. She had trouble saving up money working at bars and hotels. Okay. Even with two jobs, she was not able to save enough money to survive. Now, I know we did a video talking about the economy of uh, the Netherlands and stuff. And this is the first time I've seen, like, homelessness in, the ne in, in Amsterdam, I guess, where she's talking about, or the Netherlands. Um, can you guys let me know in the comments about, like, what the homeless is like in there like what what's the city's um standards of working and then what's the city's like stance on homelessness like with like what's the requirements to work you know answer those questions for me because i'm a little bewildered based off what i've heard you know people have done well life in the netherlands she had trouble saving up money working at bars and hotels even with two jobs she was not able to save enough money to survive it is very hard because the system is made to benefit older people. Older people's wages are way higher than young people's. It's a system where the older you get, the more you get paid. The most important thing you need. I mean, doesn't that that sounds like experience, right? Need to know before moving to the Netherlands is to bring a lot of money with you because you are going to spend a lot on hotels and going out. This is especially true in Amsterdam, which is a very small city. You could literally walk across the city in one and a half hours. Also, consider in winter, it is very cold, very windy, very snowy, and in Amsterdam, there are not many places to sit. There aren't big shopping centers to go shopping. The only places to go are McDonald's and Burger King, which are places most people gather and drink. In reality, this country isn't that great. There are too many drugs. On the weekends, teenagers get mm. high, get drunk, and there's also a lot of legal and illegal prostitution. To be honest, I didn't find it was the best country in the world. No, this ain't it. <laughs> as the internet claims. So what did y'all do? Just find a place where there's a lot of needles or did you just go somewhere and buy a lot of needles and lay them out in the rain and the dirt? Like, I don't know how, how to feel about this one, but man, my peach from the Netherlands, man, y'all let me know, man. Let me know what's going on. Well, how y'all feel about this video? This was comedy to me, man. So I'll catch y'all at another one, man. Let me know what to react to next in the comment section, man, and I'll catch y'all later.